What's going on, everybody? So today I got passed to the Adidas employee store, which means that everything in there is about like 50% off. And so I'm going to go see what they have. And um, hopefully they got some new stuff, some crazy light boost or... Uh, what I really want to get is those uh, D. Lillard twos, the PDX carpets, and the uh, story behind that is like it's the same colorway. Like the Portland airport has this like infamous, you know, pattern carpet that I I'm, I have yet to see any other airport with you know carpet. But uh, I think Portland's like the only one. I could be wrong. It's pretty unique. I think they do this like every year. Like the last model of the PDX carpets for uh, the D. Lillard's, I wasn't too much of a fan because I felt like it looked way too much like the carpet, you know. But this one's a little bit more subtle, so I like it, you know. And so I'm just hoping they got it. Probably got to pick up a few things if they have some Ultra Boots. I want to, you know get a little bit more Ultra Bruce in my collection. I only have one pair, and that was like the first, I think it was like one of the first uh, models that they released. It was like the kind of red salmon looking one. But, you know, I'm going to show you guys what they have in there. Let's see. Hopefully they got something. Alright. Coming up to the Adidas headquarters. See those three stripes? Got that. Got the big old shell toe. Pulling up. Man, it was hella packed in the Adidas store. There were like lines outside and it was just super crowded. But shout out to all the employees in there because they kept everything under control. But I'm going to start looking at the runner out because I was trying to look for some Ultra Boost. But couldn't find none. Got these Pure Boozy G's right here. And then next we have these energy boost threes it's like made out of a tech fit upper to give like a sock like feel or something it looks like a very comfortable shoe but i'm just not a fan of that color i should have tried it though but uh oh here here's the shoe that i was looking for the d liller pdx carpets they didn't have many pairs left so i had to swoop them up quick like i love this shoe especially for the price and I just love how they made the sole the PDX carpet as opposed to just like making the whole shoe that pattern. Like these are icy as hell. Then we got these D loaded twos. Kind of got that Oregon duck colorway with the green and yellow. And then here we got the Crazy Light Boost Low 2016. The second edition to the James Harden line. It's a unique looking shoe. I feel like it's way doper on feet. Like I really want the all white pair. And then we got these uh, crazy explosives. Like these are the shoes that Andrew Wiggins will be wearing. Got that prime knit upper, full length boost technology. And it also has this crazy little lace system that wraps a tie foot. I mean, it looks like a very supportive shoe on a basketball court, but I don't know if I'm sold on the shoe yet. I mean, like I said, it looks like a really good basketball shoe. Definitely really supportive. But, oh, here we got these uh, old James Harden shoes. The Crazy Light Boost 2.5. Looks pretty dope with the Rocket colorway. And then, you know, I'm just looking around. Trying to find some things, you know. That's the crazy stuff. Oh, these radios. Radials digging that cocaine white For some reason that soul reminds me of like a cruller like donut or something again we got, then we got these black ones they cool too got that suede and leather material old school pro models a little throwback for you i don't even know what these are look like some prime knit stan smiths or something and here we got a couple zx fluxes I was never really into these, but I see a lot of people wearing them though. Pretty dope with the white. And uh, here, I'm not really sure what these are, but I'm just gonna go right through them. And uh, here we got the, 
Got a whole gang of Samoas. Got that 80s look. Got any color you can imagine. And red, white, blue, everything. And then here we got the Stan Smith section. Got a whole gang of these too. For those that don't know Stan Smith, he's pretty much a legendary tennis player throughout the 70s. I see a lot of people wearing those. Oh yes, but last but not least, we got the Adidas Superstars. I like to call these the Run DMCs. Like these are so dope. Like I remember rocking these back in middle school with the fat laces. I had the all white ones, the black striped ones, and even these um, these weird patent leather striped ones. Like I really wanted these. Like I love that gold on the tongue. Not really feeling the laces that they use for these though. Alright, what's going on? So I just got back from the Adidas Ploy store and I'm gonna show you guys what I picked up. I'm just gonna make this kind of quick because I'm supposed to meet up with a friend. So as far as the shoes, I picked up uh, these. The D. Lillard 2's, the PDX carpet. This is what the PDX carpet kind of looks like. They didn't make the whole shoe, you know, like the carpet. They like took pieces, bits and pieces of it. I mean, I do own a pair of D. Lillard 2's and they're super comfortable, super affordable. And I like how they uh, switch from the fat the flat laces to these uh, round ones. You know, I love that mint. The mint color always adds extra touch to it. Definitely gonna rock these. These are very comfortable. Like I said, I own a pair of the Rip City ones. I'll show you guys the, the other side. And it says like, rep hard. And this is the Adidas Bounce technology. And I also got my brother up here too. He, he wanted a pair of these and these were originally 120 so there I paid 60 dollars for these I might do a review on these and on feed but right now I'm just gonna like tell you guys what I picked up put these right here another pair that I picked up I picked up these crazy light boost lows tell price 130 so about 65 dollars I paid for them and these are pretty dope it's the USA colorways. I think these, uh, yeah, these are like the kind of like the James Hardens. But I don't own a shoe with this colorway, and so I was really happy that they had these. And I put them on; they're really comfortable. Like I said, I love these round, the round laces. Got that continental traction on the bottom. But I'm definitely gonna rock these today very dope shoe definitely gonna rock these today and what else did I pick up I picked up this hat because I just wanted a hat I wanted an Adidas hat yeah, I like the, the round brim that's a cool touch you know I got that classic logo and I saw some um I wanted to get a pair of the superstars and uh, they were about $80 retail, so I would have paid $40 for them, but they didn't have my size. They had the smallest they had was size nine. I know I got small feet. I don't want to hear it, but I I tried a nine and it was like really loose, and so it didn't really work out for me. But then I also picked up this shirt. This little what is it like kind of like mint, whatever color. Just picked up this shirt. Because, I don't know, it kind of goes well with this, right? Yeah, I just like this shirt and got the Adidas. A little patch on the side. The shirt is, was retailed at $30. So I paid 15 bucks. Really like, really like the clothes that Adidas is putting out. A lot of lifestyles, not like gears to only sporty things, but you know, they got a lot of lifestyle clothing that you can wear out and about. But that's all I got and I might go back again cause like I said, I got a pass till the end of the month and I'll see what they got. Unfortunately, they didn't have no Ultra Boost. 
They haven't had any Ultra Boost for a while, I don't think. But like I said, this is the only pair of Ultra Boost that I have. This was like when they first came out. And I saw these at the Adidas employee store and I paid 90 bucks for them. And they're still in pretty good condition. That's all I really got for you guys today. Um, I'm gonna keep trying to make vlogs and all that stuff. You know, I appreciate you guys for checking out my video. Hit that like button if you want. Subscribe if you want. You know, I'm not gonna force anybody to do anything against your own will. But if you want to do it, you know, I really appreciate it. So, anyways, I better get going. Hope you guys have a good day. Alright, peace.